Rồi. Hello everyone, my name is Moment Yabao. And I'm Pam Chung Rampi. Today we're here to help you learn English better. Learning English can be fun and rewarding, but it can be frustrating or difficult sometimes. Don't worry. Today we're here and got some top tips on you how to learn English effectively. One, prioritize two study phrases, not words, three, learn by listening. Four, read things you like and keep a diary. Five, record yourself. Six, take an online lesson. Seven, connect with the cultural. Eight, talk to people. Nine, practice a lot. Final routine. Learning a language takes a lot of time and practice. So it helps if you have a routine on how you learn each day or each week. You can plan your time and then make a routine. Whenever you study 30 minutes a day or one or two hours each week, you will gradually improve your English. Try and find a routine that works for you. Study phrases are not words. When you study English or any language for that matter, you shouldn't study individual words because memorizing them without context makes no sense. Instead, you should study word phrases. Memorizing the meaning of words is much easier if you know what they mean and how they are used in a sentence. Learn by listening. Famously, the TV show's friends help people learn as they learn English. Many people also find that listening to songs and watching movies in the language help the study. Try to listen to uh, media in English to help with fluency and grammar. It's also a fun way to increase your vocabulary. If you have a lot of spare time, you can use that time to listen uh, to English media. Both postcard and radio are useful for this method. You can listen to English when you are driving on the bus, doing chores or workout. This regular routine will help you quickly learn English. Also, watch TVs and movies and listen to the radio. Even if you don't understand everything, you will still learning. It is possible to understand the content if you only know 30% of the word you hear. Your learning will improve day by day, and it's fun. Read things you like and keep a diary. If you have a favorite book or what you like, or any other text you enjoy reading in your native language, try reading it in English because you are family with the text. You will be able to work out well in English, having your confidence and ability. This way of learning is true story, also enjoyable for many people. Writing about your day-to-day -day life will be a good way of practicing your English writing skills. It also help you think in a language, learn words related to your lifestyle. It might take you a while to write a diary and drive bus, but soon you will improve as your practice. Record yourself. Some people don't like the sound of voice, but they don't know that it is a powerful tool to increase your speaking skill. Try to record yourself when you speak English and then listen to it back. You will recognize your noise and understand any mistake. You can also use this method to practice of new phrases and vocabulary and to also to improve your pronunciation. So take an online lesson. There are many online courses available on the internet. A picture on Google will show you a list of training providers. Uh, however, it can get quite costly if you are fully dependent on one more Skype lesson to improve. Uh, one way to cut costs into supplement your lesson with an online self-learning English program. Overall, you enjoy cost saving uh, of more than 50% using the online program for supplement your ongoing class. Connect with the culture. Understanding English will be easier if you know the culture of those who natively speak it. Uh, example, if you are interested in British English, you can discover the culture and history of the UK. There are 19 native English speaking countries and 48 countries that use English as an official language. Therefore, you have a lot of culture to explore. Hey, talk with people. One of the best ways of learning English is talking with others. You should speak with native language, native people uh, that you can practice English with them, uh, you can ask them for 
want to fix your grammar, uh, if you want to good at English, you should practice and practice. And there's an old saying that practice makes perfect. You should try to have all the opportunity to use your speaking skill, like on the phone or face to face. You can join conversation group, language exchange, or even use app to connect with people. Uh, you can even practice English when you are alone. So, to sum up, how to learn English effectively is to connect what you're learning with real world. Spend your time doing real, meaningful activities. We all know that sitting at a table and look at your book is not the best way to learn English because most of your time, your mind is not active, actively using the information that you learn and real studying practical learning will not take place. Here are some techniques that will help you learn more effectively. Thank you for listening. I hope all these useful ways help you in enjoying your interesting journey on learning English.